Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony, and we're just going to go through and quickly walk through um, installing Windows. And this is going to be Windows 11. And Windows 10 is close, not exactly, but when I get here, this is with a brand new drive. And so there's no data on this computer. If you need to repair your computer, you have data on it, make sure you back it up first. Don't go through this process unless you know um, that you're willing to lose all of your data. So I don't have a product key right now, I'll do that later. I'm going to install Pro on this machine. Uh, you can do Home as well. The And this was, I did a video on how to create this little USB drive on a, on a different video, but you have to accept the license agreement uh, no matter how much in order to install it. And then I always do an install. Now, if you have drives in here and you need to start fresh, you want to delete all of your data and you're booting off of a drive, you delete everything first, all your partitions, and then you start from scratch, like this one, where it's an unallocated space. But only if you are willing to wipe all of your data and lose all of it. So then from here, it shows the status. Now, this is an NVMe drive, so it should go pretty quick on installing it's on a USB drive but th this is you know the great thing about this is Microsoft has finally made this more accessible to people rather than going through and having to buy the CD and everything else right it, you get it online and you're able to then set up a new machine quite easily and then get your product key later get you up and running as fast as possible which I think is a good step forward by Microsoft here and as you can see, the files, get ready for files, it, it flies through this pretty quick, which is one huge benefit here. Now, once it get, does this, I believe it does in features, updates, and then we are off to the setup part of this. So, as you can see, it jumps pretty quick. <laughs> but I, I usually do fresh installs on people's machines, so you can restart it here when they need it and this is a brand new machine so of course it's going to get a fresh install a lot of other times i'll do a lot of upgrades and go through that process but it's a determination of kind of what you're looking for and how you're what result you're looking for right sometimes you're looking for a clean wipe you want to start the machine fresh you want to sell the machine okay you're doing a clean install getting rid of all the data but if you have data on there and you need to maintain that data, then you're going to use a different approach. Try to, especially if you're having OS issues, there's a few other things that you can go to. And I'm sure you can talk to somebody about that. Maybe I'll do some of my pro of how I approach that in another different video. But this is just going to be mostly setting it up. As you can see, it went through a whole bunch of little screens here on boot up, getting stuff ready. And then you're going to be presented with the screen of, or it reboots again. I don't remember how many times this reboots. It's Windows. It reboots a lot. <laughs> so we're going here. Let's see. Just a moment. And this isn't the slowest machine in the world, so it should be pretty quick. It's a new one. There is the Windows 11 icon, and it's doing this. It asks you where you are. And of course, it's making my mouse just take forever. Because it does kind of set up drivers in the background. We skip the second keyboard layout. Connect to the network. I am going to say I do not have internet here. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Uh, I continue with living and setup. Now this may be going away in future Windows 11 updates. I don't like that you are being forced to use a Microsoft account. And I'm not going to even set up a password for this. Don't worry, it's all changing anyways. But you have privacy settings. You can do location on here, find my device. Those are probably fine. I normally turn off, I sometimes turn all these off depending upon what the device is, who is it for. 
it really all depends but we'll see here diagnostic data I usually only this only time I ever do optional is if I have an insider build inking and typing I usually don't send this and I definitely turn off tailored experiences and turn off advertising ID I like the generic you know if you want something directly advertised to you go for it turn that on keep it on if you like tailored experiences keep that on Microsoft just does a poor job of both of those things and I don't like it it's, it seems like it's more data sent to them with no benefit to me so they get turned off and that's basically the setup walking through it I'll probably do another one here once Microsoft releases another update especially if they only allow you to do um, your Microsoft account that would be frustrating as all get out but there needs to be I think that there needs to be some sort of Microsoft realizing we need to keep this so there can be local users etc hopefully they get that route or they hopefully they go down that route and realize it but only time will tell and then I think after the setup it logs you in and you're good to go so that's a quick little rundown of how to get Windows installed or Windows 11. Windows 10 is pretty similar, a little bit different screens. But that's just it just keeps telling you this stuff. Like keep your PC turned on and plugged in. Do not turn off your PC. I think the first statement told me that and the second statement is what? Reinforcing it? <laughs> I think if my PC is on and plugged in if you want me to keep it unplugged in, I won't be turning it off. <laughs> Almost there. Oh, thank you, Microsoft. And there, the annoyance of keeping this in the center, don't worry. That's all probably being moved for my uncle who wants to deal with that annoyance. So, But that that's how you quickly go through and update uh, or get the updates to Windows here or install Windows. So I want to thank you guys for watching and helping support Gravelo. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Until next time, God bless and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.